Hello, Folsom Junior High. This is second hours, um, and I've already glazed this batch. You can see the initials here now. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna show you. These are only half glazed. So what I have to do is I have to dip them once, like this. I pull them out, make sure I wipe the bottoms. And then this part that I'm holding on to, I have to dip that a second time. Let me put this between my knees. So this is glaze. There is cobalt in this glaze. Cobalt is a heavy metal. It'll sink to the bottom. It's very expensive stuff. It's about $60 a pound. And that's what makes this glaze blue. So I'm gonna take this now and you can see the initials. And I, I painted it with some wax so the glaze won't stick. So I'm gonna dip it down into the glaze where it's not glazed yet, and I'm gonna count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. I'm gonna pour it out. This part on the bottom, I have to clean up because when that fires, it's gonna turn into glass and stick to my kiln shelf if I don't. Now let's check the initials out and see how the wax resist works. Pretty good, see the glaze doesn't stick there. We're gonna take our sponge and clean up the last remaining little bits of glaze. This is ready to go. I did not glaze this one. I just put plain red iron oxide. This is basically like rust with water added. And this is gonna turn very metallic when it's done. It's gonna be beautiful. It's not for food, it's for a plant. So I didn't want to put glaze in here and then have the glaze drip out onto my kiln shelf. John made a beautiful little pot with a, a pouring spout and he put some different impressions around it and under it. And Olivia too. So these, I am just gonna glaze the insides. All right, next time you see these guys, they will be fired and floating blue. It's gonna look way different than that. Later.